breaking news from San Francisco. They did it again. During Barack Obama's administration, he did his best to usurp the Constitution by enacting several programs designed to weaken the United States. With a stroke of his pen, he would sign one executive order after another, dismantling our country's sovereignty in the hopes to crash our great nation. After years of this abuse, the American people had enough and voted for the one person who pledged to bring our country back from the depths of despair, and elected Donald Trump. For the past year, President Trump has been busy overturning Obama-era programs that benefited everyone else in the world, but the American people. Over this past summer, on the chopping block was the Obama-era CIA program that helped arm rebels who were fighting the Syrian government. Then there was the Paris Climate Accord and NAFTA that only protected foreign interests over America, and Trump has just been in office for less than a year. However, the most significant cut of the year was Obama's hotly contested Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, that caused the left to disintegrate into hysterics. After the program was slashed, Democrats on the Hill promised they would fight back to protect their future voting bloc and they just got their wish with what the liberal Ninth Circuit Court just ruled. Earlier this week, a United States district judge has essentially banned President Trump from overturning Obama's unconstitutional executive order on DACA. Yes, you read that 100% correctly folks. Another liberal judge has decided that Trump, who by the way is following the Constitution, is usurping the Constitution by overturning an unconstitutional order try to make sense out of that madness. Here is more from the Daily Wire. On Tuesday, a U.S. district judge in San Francisco barred the Trump administration from ending Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, a program created in 2012 by former Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano of the Obama administration that prevents young people brought to the United States illegally by their parents from being deported. U.S. District Judge William Malsup, who was appointed to his position by former President Bill Clinton, ruled in a lawsuit brought by Democratic state attorneys general, organizations and individuals after the Trump administration announced last September 5 that would rescind the program, ordering a six-month phase-out concluding March 5, 2018. The Trump administration stated it would stop considering new applications for legal status dated after September 5 but would allow DACA recipients with a permit set to expire before March 5, 2018, the opportunity to apply for a two-year renewal if they applied by October 5, 2017. ALSA wrote, the agency shall post reasonable public notice that it will resume receiving DACA renewal applications and prescribe a process consistent with this order. ALSEP's ruling flew in the face of decisions from other federal judges, including the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, which had ruled a program similar to DACA was illegal for at least two reasons, that program didn't go through the notice and comment process and also was contrary to immigration law. But ALSEP ruled the DACA case was different and the reasons given by other courts did not apply. Ironically, one of the plaintiffs in the lawsuit was Napolitano to attack the Trump administration's decision by insisting that the normal process of going through the full notice and comment period when creating a program like DACA, which she ignored when she created it, was ignored by the Trump administration when they canceled DACA. According to the Office of the Federal Register, agencies obtain their authority to issue regulations from laws, statutes, enacted by Congress. The office adds, an agency must not take action that goes beyond its statutory authority or violates the Constitution. Agencies must follow an open public process when they issue regulations. In general, agencies will specify a comment period ranging from 30 to 60 days in the dates section of the Federal Register document but the time period can vary. ALSEP ruled that DACA must not be rescinded until litigation on the issues is resolved, triggering Department of Justice spokesman Devin O'Malley to respond, today's order doesn't change the Department of Justice's position on the facts, the department, will continue to vigorously defend this position. He said. 
ALSEP's ruling permitted the federal government to refuse to process new applications from people who were not already covered by DACA, but people already covered could submit renewal applications which the federal government would have to process. He stated, DACA gave them a more tolerable set of choices, including joining the mainstream workforce. Now, absent an injunction, they will slide back to the pre DACA era and associated hardship. President Trump responded on Twitter. This ruling is by far one of the most egregious acts of judicial activism that any of us have seen in a long time besides the terrible ruling of Roe v. Wade in the late 70s. At any rate, this judge has no right whatsoever to overrule Trump's constitutional order to eliminate DACA and enforce the laws of our country. For too long the American people have been on the back burner while liberal politicians have given foreigners and refugees special treatment. Now. It is our time to put the American people first so we can make America great again, and if they want the same benefits, then they can apply for citizenship because the free ride is over. Is over.